coach laid out like what he's looking for, what he wants you to do, like to, to win the job? Or? Just most uh, most importantly, I think he just wants us wants a quarterback that's going to move him down the field, who's consistent and doesn't make dumb decisions. What did you think you had to work on in the off season to try to win the job? Uh, leadership, definitely. Um, try to drive the ball more. So that's what I try to focus on more. Having been here in the spring and worked with these guys for several years now, at least your fellow teammates, do you think that gives you kind of a, a little bit of a leg up on this uh, competition? I think we just, as a group, just build com camaraderie. And then, I mean, you get familiar with them the longer you're with them. So I think that, that helps out a lot. How comfortable are you with the offense having gone through it in spring? Um, I mean, I feel pretty comfortable. We're uh, just doing a couple of installs that we already installed in the spring. So, I mean, I'm, I'm familiar with this. So. What have you learned about Wilton and Dorian as they come in and work with you guys? They both work hard. They want to be great. So, I mean, they bring the competition level to another game. So, as the, as the rest of us, we got to step up too. So. How do you kind of build a friendship with those guys while you're competing with them? Is that hard? I don't think so. I mean, we just want the team to win. So, I mean, whoever has the starting job, as I said, we're just going to support them. Have you been in a competition situation like this, like in high school or something? Um, in high school, my sophomore year. But, I mean, after that, Josh was a starter. So, then that's about it. Did you work on your body physically in the off season? Did you? Yeah, I mean, I was trying to lose a lot of body fat over the spring, so. <laughs> Did you do <laughs> it? Yeah, I lost a couple percent, so that was good. How'd you go about doing that? Just eating right, um, try to work out more than we, we do uh, here, so it helped out. What did you take from those player run practices where you guys got, got out here I mean, it helped. I think it helped out the whole team just because we were able to practice with each other in a, just a safe environment. Plus, we got to be able to run our plays that we already learned. So it just kept us up to speed on what we needed. It's been going out here for you last couple days. It's been going good. Uh, trying to get back into things. We've been working all summer with uh, just the players and doing our stuff and trying to repeat the plays that we've installed back in spring. So that was a big help coming into fall camp. So we're just trying to become a well-oiled machine coming back into camp. How's it been bad? adding DTR and Wilton into the mix? How's that kind of changed the dynamic at quarterback? I mean, they fit in right with the rest of us. Uh, they're great dudes, and we're all going to push each other, and the best quarterback will play. You guys have a sense of how quickly Coach Clay would like to find you know, a starter? Um, I do not. Uh, it's a day-to-day -day process with him, and you never know. So, first game coming out is when we'll probably find out. Do you have a sense of what he's looking for, whoever gets the job? Um, he's looking for a quarterback that makes the right decisions, makes the best decisions all the time, and leads his team to victory. So, that's what he's looking for. Is it a little maybe strange to be competing against a graduate transfer who came in from another school? Um, no, not really. I kind of know. I knew Wilton a little bit before this, so him coming in, he was just another brother part of the team. So it's the same, another guy on the team. Did you talk to him before he made the decision to come here? Um, a little bit, but I didn't know that he was going to come here, but I was friends with him through Josh Rosen, so I kind of knew him before when he was at Michigan, and we kind of kept in touch, but I, he didn't tell me that he was going to come here. Is he leaning on you a little just to get up to speed on what UCLA is all about? Absolutely, absolutely. Like in what way? Um, I mean, he hopped right into the quarterback group, and he's our best friend, you know. And it's hard for someone new like that to jump in and be so, so close with the quarterback room and the whole team, and he fit in right right away, so that's good. What does Dorian bring to that quarterback room? What does Dorian bring? Um, Dorian brings a lot of energy. Um, he's smart. Um, he definitely was trained well throughout high school, and he just adds another competitor in the race for the quarterback. Caleb was big for you guys last year before he went down. What's it like to see him out here again, and what does he bring? Oh, it's great to see Caleb back. Like, seeing him all offseason, he's been working to get back, working to get that ankle right. And to see him back, he's a little rusty right now, but you know Caleb, and he's going to get to the best he can, and he's going to be that best tight end in college football this year. So it's exciting to see. What do you think made him so good that first month last year? He just has a feel for the game. He grew up around football his whole life, and I think he just has that feel that a lot don't, and he just knows the game in the inside and out.
How do you feel the receivers are doing in replacing Darren, Jordan? Who do you think will step up? Who have you been seeing in like the offseason? I mean, they've all stepped up. All the receivers have stepped up their game. Diamond Lee, Christian Pabico, Theo Howard, Ethan Fernia, they're all stepping up. And this offense different, and Coach Kelly requires a lot more out of the receivers. So they're all stepping up, and I believe that they're all going to fill that role and fill what was left. How do you think you fit in this offense? I think I fit good. Um, I, my strengths are running, and this offense is built around zone reads and stuff like that. So I think I have that part, and now I just got to work on uh, my throwing motion and stuff like that to get that job. What's it been like for you these first uh, couple of days out here? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Uh, moved up here end of May, sometime in May, and started working out the team in June. And uh, just to be back out on the football field um, with everything that happened last year, wasn't really sure if that was going to happen again, and, and now that it, it's happening and the ball's rolling, it's, it's special. A lot of times you see graduate transfers pick a spot where they know that there's a clear path to uh, the starting job here. There's a little bit more of a competition for you. What was appealing about UCLA that um, ultimately led you to, to join the team? You know, I saw a team that was ready to win, um, you know, that, that had a lot of players, playmakers, um, you know, ready to, to make plays and win a lot of games, and, and Coach Kelly has the formula to, uh, to obviously get that done. In, in years past, he's proven that. So, um, you know, there's lots of things appealing about you know, this this school, the, the program, the degree that I'm going to get. Everything just kind of made sense. What did what kind of conversations did you have with him before committing about what the competition was? Uh, you know, we just talked about how it's it's uh, you know a new staff. Um, Josh, you know, obviously Rosen's uh, gone. He's moved on to the next level, and and um, you know there's an opportunity here. And, and uh, you know, I saw that and saw that as a green light and was excited for, for that opportunity. Knowing what his offense was like at Oregon, how did you think you fit into it? And what what kind of conversations did you have with him about it? Yeah, that's obviously been a big question mark for like, assuming a lot of people coming from a pro-style offense at, at Michigan. Um, but, you know, he and I talked a lot about how he ran things with, with Nick Foles, um, Sam Bradford, Mark Sanchez, uh, the success he had with those guys that, you know, could move, but obviously they weren't necessarily dual threat and uh, you know when I saw the, the success that they had and, and the, the things that he would tweak for for those guys um, you know I, I saw myself doing the same things. Did he put you in touch with you know, in touch with quarterbacks he had? I actually trained this winter um, down in, in Orange County uh, when I had my five, you know, four or five months off and Mark Sanchez was down there uh, for a good portion of the winter and, and he, he and I trained together and, and he would talk to me about a lot of things made my uh, decision, you know, Mark and I talked a lot about why it made sense, and, and that helped a lot. Which quarterback coach did you work with? Uh, I was with Adam Dado, uh, to Tom House's guys, through, yeah, through, throughout the whole winter, um, and up here, you know, still see uh, Steve Clarkson, um, you know, for years past. So. How close do you think this offense will look to what Coach Kelly was running in Oregon? You know, uh, we haven't watched a ton of Oregon film. Um, I remember when I was younger, I saw, um, I can't remember who his quarterbacks were besides Mariota. Was Mariota with the Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, besides seeing the, the flashy uniforms and the, the highlights on uh, ESPN, I, I didn't watch a whole lot of, of those guys, um, just being on the East Coast and everything. Uh, but, you know, I know I know the, the offense is, is fast, and, and um, that's all I'm really focused on. How have you been accepted, you think, by the other quarterbacks since you've been here? It's an awesome room, an incredible room of, of guys uh, on and off the field. I think we've you know, all gotten along really well, you know, done things outside the building together, and, and you know, just a bunch of good dudes, and, and that's really all you can ask for. Is it hard to build a camaraderie with guys you're competing against? No, it's not. Um, you know, I did that for four years at, at Michigan. Um, you know, you, you had a lot of, I guess, top, top dogs, top recruits. You know that, that wanted to come start at quarterback at Michigan, and, and you know every year there was a competition, and, and um, whomever won the competition, you know everyone else had their back, and, and um, that seems to be the same way here. You know I've only been here for a month and a half, two months, but uh, you know everyone's friends. It's awesome. How did Brett Hundley play a role at all? He's the Steve Clarkson guy yeah. too. You talked to him before you committed. Yeah, right? I, I think my first visit here uh, to see his spring practice, he was here. Um, and then he and I have, you know, been friends for a long time. So we we talked, um, you know, before I made the decision, and he said it was a no-brainer, and, and uh, you know, as did Steve. So um, you know, just 
with guys that have had success in the position and, and are familiar with what's going on, uh, you know, for them to, to back you up, it makes makes the most sense. You acclimated in like Southern California lifestyle? Yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty easy to acclimate to, to this type of stuff. Uh, you know, Ann Arbor special in um, you know May, June, July, August, and then the fall. But <laughs> the winter time uh, gets a little brutal. So I, I'm I'm uh, cool to get used to this. How the logistics been of getting reps for so many quarterbacks? Yeah, obviously there's days. there's a lot of guys. Uh, you know, I came in and, and they had you know spring ball. Team practices, but uh, you know, coaches done a good job of making sure everyone gets the, the, the right opportunities. How's your back feeling after that injury? Yeah, no, back back feels great. You know, I really concentrated um, once I you know left Michigan and got out here uh, with, with everyone, Tom House, uh, just to kind of recreate um, you know how I use my body and everything, and, and you know saw rehab specialists and trainers and everything to buy. March, April, I was 100%. My body felt better than it did heading into last season, and, and that's where I stand right now. So, awesome. how are you in terms of shape? I think you had said at one point you were best shape of your life. Yeah, this. yeah. You know, it was um, this winter was just all ball. It was just all training. Uh, you know, I got my degree from Michigan, and, and I was waiting to see where I'd select uh, to come play my last year. So, the only thing I had to focus on was eating right, training as hard as I can, and, and um, just repeated that every day and you know little wins kept stacking up and um, there was a su successful winner. What else, other schools did you consider other than this thing? Uh, just looking at LSU, I was talking to LSU a lot, uh, Baylor, Wyoming, um, Washington State, uh, initially Southern Cal, uh, that was back in December right when I announced that I was leaving, I talked to them a little bit, but um, you know a handful of other schools but really came down to LSU, Wyoming, and, and UCLA, and UCLA was the obvious choice. How did the process of picking a school that you would go to as a grad transfer differ from when you were an 18-year-old kid coming out of high school? Well, I think, uh, you know, if you go through the process for four years and you see how things operate at a big-time program uh, firsthand, um, you kind of have a better idea in terms of, you know, when it's time to make a decision and, and what you're looking for. Um, you know, and at the same time, you, you don't fall in love with the, perhaps like the flashiness of a program like you do when you're in high school, because you've had it, and um, you realize it's just football, and, and obviously this is my last year, it's my, my last shot to, uh, you know, show what I can do to get to the next level, and, and uh, that's ultimately what it came down to. You've been through a bunch of these camps, what do you impart on Dorian as he goes through all this for the first time? Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I've been talking to him a little, you know, here and there on the side, and, and obviously the kid's got a lot of talent, and, um, but it's it's tough to come into a, a camp as a true freshman. I remember um, with Coach Harold at Michigan, it was like drinking out of a fire hose. You know, it's just there's so much thrown at you. You're expected to run the offense just as a 23-year-old, 22, 21-year-old is when you're 18 years old and, and running high school plays last year. So, um, but you know he's done a, a great job of adjusting and, and uh, doing his thing. So it's good. How are these first two days for you? Oh, I've been it's been a blast. I mean, I'm learning everything. Everybody's helping me out. So I mean, teams teams going well. Teams moving well. So. What, how would you kind of describe the dynamics of this competition right now? Just the way it's going. Like, what, what are you what are you hoping to prove? Uh, as coach, I told you what he's looking for. Um, no, everybody's just they still to go out there and compete to the best of our ability and the best guy we play, so that's what everybody's doing right now. You're obviously very stylistically different mm -hmm. than Wilton. Do you think that plays your advantage? Because obviously you, you can, can run a little ball throw. Um, no, not really. I mean, like I said, the best guy will play, and that's pretty much about it. I mean, if you know the offense and you can play, it's, that's who's going to play. So. Have you thought about going and learning this offense and this new system? Um, well, I mean, since the beginning, uh, as soon as I got out of high school, um, they sent me over the playbook and stuff like that. So I mean, I've been just studying, uh, really just working on the mental games. So. What have you done physically, uh, like developed from high school? How big are you at? And mm -hmm. what's your goal do you think you'd like to be? Um, I'd say just doing what Coach uh, Wintrick has asked of me, uh, strength-wise. And uh, just getting out and throwing with the guys that my freshman guys that as soon as we got here we just 
all gelled together to start throwing and stuff. And then um, right now I want to, I'm trying to get it like 205. Right now I'm like 195, one, like 195, 200. So um, I'm trying to gain that extra five pounds. So. Well, you said you guys have done stuff away from the field. What kind of, what kind of stuff have you guys done to kind of build camaraderie together? What are you talking about? Quarterbacks. Oh, uh, just quarterbacks. Um, just throwing with receivers. I mean, that's pretty much it. Throwing receivers, running backs, whoever may be getting uh, snaps from centers and stuff like that. So. What did you feel about losing Brian Addison? Oh, man, I was like my best friend. I was, no. I was supposed to be my roommate, too. So um, I ended up, it was good for me because I ended up getting a room to myself or something. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I miss that dude. I mean, we still talk every day and stuff like that. He said he's loving it up at Oregon, so I'm happy for him. His first two days been kind of like what you expected from, from this experience? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, come out here and straight football. I mean, we just got done with class and they took us out of session C, so I mean, it's just straight football. It seems like each quarterback has kind of a different ability, a, a unique quality. What's kind of your unique quality that you bring to that room? Um, I would just say being a playmaker, um, just, just being able to extend plays, make plays um, with both my arm and my feet. So. Do you think there's less pressure on you considering you've still got your whole career ahead of you and these other guys are running out of opportunities to win your job? Um, I really don't think there is pressure, I mean, in any of the quarterbacks. I mean, it's, it's just going out there and just trying to compete for yourself and uh, trying to win a job for yourself. So. What do you think about the new redshirt rule? Um, I think it's cool. I mean, that's not what I'm focusing on. I'm trying to play, so, I mean, but, I mean it's cool. This is a plan B if anything happens during the season, so. You've got, got a guy like Wilton who's 23, he's a grad transfer, he's done a lot of stuff in college football. How do you lean on him as you're going through your very first transfer? Oh, yeah. Um, I've definitely leaned on Wilton a lot. I mean, if I have any questions or anything about plays or reads or anything, I go to him. Um, and so, I mean, I, we just, whatever I need, I can go to him for it. So. If, if you ultimately don't win the job, would you prefer a red shirt or try to rotate in if, when those opportunities arise? Um, I'll think about that when the time comes right now. Just think about trying to get that starting job. So, What's Coach Kelly told you guys about what he expects from the eventual starter? Um, we haven't talked about that yet. It's really just focusing on fall camp and everybody going out there and competing. So we're pretty excited with your spring game performance. Um, what, what was your biggest takeaway from that? How much of a confidence booster was that? Um, it, was, it helped definitely just putting all that spring practice together and uh, going out and performing in front of more fans and everything. So it was exciting. And now uh, we're just back to work. Uh, another opportunity to get better. How have you felt so far in the first two days? Good. It felt, uh, we're just installing plays that we went over in the spring, obviously. But uh, it felt good. We have the whole team here, all 105 of us. So we're just getting to know each other, building chemistry with the new guys as they learn plays as well. So it's just good to be as a whole team. How's the offense gelling? It's good. It's going well. You know, just uh, learn, learn new stuff, new uh, new plays and things like that. But uh, it's going well so far. How much do you think you fit this offense comparatively to like Jed Fish's offense when you came in? Uh, I think I think I fit both both pretty well. You know, Jed was more pro style, obviously more under center and more just drop back. Coach Kelly has more of a run pass option to it. So I, I like. I like both offices a lot right now. Coach Kelly's is uh, definitely more fun. What have you learned about Wilton and Dorian as they've come in and worked with you guys? Wilton's like uh, kind of like the dad of the group. You know? He's 23, uh, grad transfer, so. But uh, he's a he's awesome, a great, a great guy. And just he has that experience, obviously, from Michigan. So, like, if we're on the field, and, uh, he can give me little pointers and I can help him with the new plays as well because he's just not here yet, too. And Dorian, uh, he's, he's young, he's a freshman, so he's he's learning and he's, uh, he's growing, so we're just helping him out and learning stuff too. So. Do you have a goal where you want to be physically? How big you want to be? Yeah, uh, probably like, I'm like 6'3 right now, 6'3, like 210, 215. That's my goal. Right now, so. Oh, you're at 200 to get to 210? To get to 210. Got it. Yes, sir.